The Manchester Food and Drink Festival is a nationally acclaimed event and this year will celebrate its 12th year. The festival starts tomorrow and Phil Jones, the executive director, joins us now. Phil, why is it so important for us to have this festival in Manchester? Well, it's a great food and drink destination, Gemma, for a start, isn't it? Awful lot of um, talk these days about supporting local and regional producers. Definitely, when you do, it puts more money back into your local economy, creates jobs. Also... We like to have a good nosh and a good drink, don't, don't we? Just, we do, yeah. yeah. 12 yeah. years, congratulations. Well, I mean, 12 did it start years. very small? Was, I mean, well, it started quite back. small. Uh, I've told the story many times. I'm from kind of an arts festival background, yeah. and I gave that up, and I thought, well, you know, what could I do instead? And I thought, well, you can run a food and drink festival a bit like an arts festival. And to be honest, it was a bit self-indulgent fun at first. There was me and a mate, and we, you know, we had a good time. Be a bit laughter, but now, it, you know, we're employing ten, ten people full time. We do food and drink festivals all over the country. You know, it's quite an interesting thing that's developed. Food tourism. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's name drop. Are there any celebrity chefs coming and who's taking part? Well, the gala, our gala dinner and awards, which Andy has hosted in the past, oh. uh, we've got, unfortunately, night, yeah. unfortunately, he's been usurped by the Harry Bikers, so they're oh. hosting the gala dinner at the Palace my, Hotel. My daughter loves the Harry Bikers. Well, exactly. They're, very, they're, they're kind of it at the moment. Um, what we've really tried to do, we've, we've called it celebrating our local food hero, so we're really trying to focus the chef's demos in St Anne's Square all day, every day from tomorrow morning. And we've really tried to focus on the local chefs, you know, the guys, yeah. men and women, who are making it work around here. We have got some other people, Clarissa Dixon Wright, you know, you name them. Uh, but we're really trying to focus on local people this year. And you say the same hands demonstrations. Can you just wander up, have a look? It's all free. I mean, the market's in there now. We start doing chef demos tomorrow morning for uh, midday. We've actually got Paul Heathcote and people like that. We've got a few local stars, if you like, uh, tomorrow. Then we go all the way through till Sunday, October the 11th. Uh, from about midday till about five o'clock. Last weekend, which is 8 to 11 of October, we were also in Albert Square and we've got restaurants, local restaurants cooking in Albert Square. We've got a real ale bar and we've also got our first Oktoberfest bar. We thought oh, we'd, we'd, we'd sort of... Do you know, I feel that'll go down quite well. Well, <laughs> we've, and I've got the... I've been booking umpire bands today and I'm really trying to make <laughs> it so it feels no, hold good. Hold on, am I missing something? <laughs> What's an Oktoberfest? Oktoberfest, it's, it's a German. Munich beer festival. Ah. It's the original beer festival, the big Steins Do you of the beer. the beer keller in Manchester? Well, the beer ago. keller was the I kind of modern young. variety in yeah. the English version. Yeah. yeah, you need to wear lederhosen, you know. Yeah. That well, little uh, yeah, the little uh, unfortunately, the, the staff won't wear lederhosen, but they are kind of trying to create the right image. How do you get on with... Salford Food and Drink Festival, because the city's next door and they're doing theirs as well. Are relations well, reasonable? Yeah, relations are fine. We all try and work together. You'll see a listing for um, Salford Food and Drink Festival events on our website. Uh, we try and include it in there. When we, what we did is about eight years ago, we went to all the ten districts of Manchester and said, look, this is really successful yeah. in Manchester. You could all do one. And now everybody does, but they don't all do them now at the same time. I think three years ago we all did them at the same time, but Tameside's on now, Trafford had theirs last week, Stockport's on now. So, you know, we got all that, and Salford is probably the biggest. Terrific. I had a little look through your brochure, and I Good. liked this Love Food, Hate Waste. Just very yes. briefly, what's that all about? Well, Love Food, Hate Waste, it's literally that. We throw away too much food every yeah, day. Yeah. Three and a half million apples a day in the United Kingdom, about the same number of potatoes. Multiply that by 365, Gemma. There's a lot of waste goes. What we're trying to do is tell people... Not not to not to waste the food and then not to throw it away. Speak to grannies, it. they'll tell you. Bubble well, and exactly. squeak. Oh, <laughs> leftovers yeah. and all yeah, that. Well, that's it. Use, use the leftovers out of the it. fridge. Yeah. Make sure that you know everything gets used, even when it's been cut. You you know you just it's irresponsible to throw stuff away. So we can find out all about that and loads of other things at the event. Thank you so much for joining Good us. Luck with it, you don't need it. It'll go My very pleasure. Well, well it's going very well again. Nice to see you. Thank you very much.